Hi, my name is Terry Jones. I am a uh, presidential candidate for the up and coming election. I wanted to talk to you about um, th three things that I think is absolutely necessary in order to save our nation. I'd like to ask you to watch the whole video. Uh, the video will start off maybe maybe a, a little bit slow, uh, but it will it will pick up, uh, and, and then as it picks up, uh, it could be some of the things that I say uh, will, will anger you. Uh, but but let's look let's try to look at the truth of what I am saying and not not just the emotional aspect. Okay, let's look at the condition of our country. Uh, as we all know, the condition of, of our country is terrible. Uh, let's just talk a little bit about the uh, U.S. Uh, deficit. The U.S. deficit is uh, $18 trillion. And that, that's only the, the U.S. deficit. Uh, that, that's not the total deficit. I believe the total deficit in America is around 50 or $60 trillion. Uh, So that, that, of course, I think everyone's in agreement with uh, that that needs to be eliminated, eliminated uh, or drastically reduced. That That is a vital, vital importance. Uh, if you want to destroy something, let's say you want to destroy, uh, of course in our case you're a nation, but if you want to destroy a family, if you want to destroy a job or a church or a business, uh, one of the best ways to do that is to accumulate more debt than you have assets. In other words, you owe more money than, than, than the money you actually have, or let's say even the money you're worth. Because if you do that, and if you continue to do that, yeah, then of course, sooner or later, uh, your uh, company is going to collapse. Uh, your family is going to collapse. Uh, because because that, debt, that debt is going to catch up to you. And that's what we've been doing actually for many generations. And of course, in this particular uh, time, um, Hussein Obama, he is absolutely the king uh, of, of all spenders. So I think everyone is in agreement with the fact that if we do not do something about our uh, debt, our country will crumble. Uh, our dollar will cease to be of any value. Uh, our economy will collapse. Um, so sooner or later, we, we will lose the dollar as the world's uh, reserve currency. Uh, so so, so there, there's no doubt something has to happen there. So let's just concentrate right now for a minute on the uh, $18 trillion and, and what we can do there. Okay, it's very, very simple, let's say, at, at very simple at first anyway. Um, everyone knows, uh, everyone with a, a high school education, uh, maybe with a sixth grade education, everyone knows that if you have debt, uh, you must somehow try to reduce that debt, obviously, uh, and if possible, you must also try to increase uh, your income. So far, I think everybody's in agreement with that. So far, that's very, very simple. Every, everyone knows that. Every politician talks about that. Now, now it gets to the difficult part. What do we do? Um, I'm going to give you two or three solutions that I think we must, buy, we must do. Uh, we must decrease, and this is where it gets a little touchy. Uh, we must decrease all service-orientated jobs. In other words, a service-orientated job that they are necessary. Many of them are very, very necessary, but all service oriented jobs do not produce a product. In other words, we'll get to that later, but a product means you produce something. You produce, let's say, a piece of furniture. You, you manufacture, you produce a piece of furniture. That furniture is bought by someone. That furniture is used, discarded, and bought again. In other words, through that, the financial process continues. All service-orientated jobs do not produce a product. In other words, they do not produce finances. In other words, all they do is take finances. Now, this is where it will get real touchy. We must reduce all service-orientated jobs because, let's say, financially, they are only takers. Service oriented jobs are anyone who works for the government. Let's say you sit in an office, you work for the government. Service oriented job. A service oriented job, now it gets touchy. Service oriented job are 
policemen, firemen, military, anyone in a service oriented job, a job that does not produce a product. Now these jobs, and many of them, not all of them, are of course very, very important. But a society and an economy can only take so many jobs that do not produce. Okay, they provide a service. They provide a very necessary service. So many of those jobs, of course, need to be kept. But that money has to come from someplace. So, so number one thing that we have to do, we have, we have to reduce service-orientated jobs. In other words, jobs that do not produce a product, they only, they only take. And then, what we need to do, we need to, we need to somehow um, encourage uh, product-orientated jobs, because that's that's where our money comes from. Our our our, our money does not does not come from uh, uh, service-orientated jobs. They're necessary, but but that's not where the money comes from. And what we have to look at right now, we can't get emotional. And we and we can't we can't say well we need this, no no we can't we can't say we need this, because see we're in such an economical condition that that we have to we have to quit buying the tennis shoes that cost one hundred fifty dollars, and we have to now go to Goodwill and get them for five. The, the evenings of the steak dinners are over, we have to eat a can of beans. In other words, it's like the guy who goes to the doctor and he has gangrene. And he says to the doctor, can you not just cut off my finger? And the doctor says, no, you've waited too long. You're going to have to cut off your arm. And that might not even be enough. In other words, we've waited too long. We have to, we have to eliminate as many as possible service oriented jobs. And we have to promote product oriented jobs. We have to promote people starting businesses. We have to promote businesses. We have to make it easy for them to make money, for them to be able to hire people. We have, we have, to, we have to encourage uh, uh, people, American citizens in our country who want to start a business. Those are the people that the government should help. If you look around our country, if you go to any roadside hotel or small roadside gas station, you will find most of those things, most of those uh, 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 businesses are run by foreigners. You, 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 know, you know why they're run by foreigners? Because the U.S. government gave them grants of 500000 a couple of million. They didn't, they didn't necessarily come to this country with the money. The United States government gave non-citizens of this country a half a million dollars or more to buy that establishment. Now that, of course, has to stop immediately. And we have to give our finances, we have to support uh, United States citizens uh, in building businesses, starting businesses, businesses product oriented businesses are the places where the money comes from. If we want to decrease our debt, we have to cut as many service oriented jobs as possible. If we want to increase our finances, we must start encourage uh, as many product oriented jobs as possible. Again, just to explain that, a product oriented job is a job that produces something, that something is bought, that something is used, that something is discarded, and needs to be bought again. Again, A person buys a car, they drive the car, use the car, the car gets old, wore out, they sell the car, they get rid of the car, the car is discarded, they need to buy another one. Through that, the financial economy, uh, financial condition of our country can continue to, to grow and to prosper. So, 
Number one, we have to cut all, or not all, but as many as possible, service-orientated jobs. We must, we must think as business people. We must not think emotionally. We, we, must, we must not think that this is what we want, this is what we must have, we, 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 we must do this, I have to have this. No, we have to have what we can afford. And right now we cannot afford uh, more debt. So we must cut all service, or as many as possible, service-orientated jobs, and we must um, increase, encourage, promote uh, product-orientated jobs. The third thing that we must do is we must, um, this is also a very touching subject, but, but it has to be done, we must deport all illegals in this country. The, the illegals in this country are costing us billions of dollars per year. Not only are they costing us billions of dollars per year, through that our country is becoming a joke. I mean, we, we have to look at what these people are doing. These people are not just illegals in our country. They didn't just come across the border. These people are criminals. They have broken the law. In fact, in fact, they have broken the law on purpose. They have decided, I will break the law knowing this is illegal. I will break the law. I will come to this country illegally. I will break the law. And what do we do as a country? We reward them. We give them medical benefits, uh, a driver's license. I mean, I mean whoa, whoa. these people are criminals. They're breaking the law. They have to be removed from our country. I mean, what, what, what about us as United States citizens? If we break the law, do you, does anyone make an excuse for us? I mean, you, 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 can, you can run a stop sign and you lose your driver's license. Two, two years ago, we were arrested and charged with a felony. And all we were doing was exercising our First Amendment rights. Did anyone make an excuse for us? These people are costing us billions of dollars per year. Plus, we are setting a terrible, terrible example. We are allowing through our borders to come hundreds and thousands of illegals in this country who are only draining us financially. We are allowing uh, radical Islam, radical Muslims to come in through the Mexican border. That, 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 is why, that is why I think our military, uh, what, what is our military doing in Pakistan? What is our military doing in Afghanistan? Uh, bring, our, bring our military back to America, they can patrol our borders. They can patrol our, our borders in the south, and we can show a little bit of strength. We, we, we can send those Mexicans back. We can send those Islamic terrorists back. We turn them around at the border, we send them back. As we find them in America, these people are criminals. As we find them in America, we send them back. Thus saying, you cannot break the law in America and get rewarded for it. Plus, it will save our economy billions of dollars per year. These, these are just three things, but, but I believe to a certain degree, three major things uh, that must be done. There are also three things that uh, our politicians, doesn't matter which party, uh, our politi politicians will not tell us because they are too cowardly. But these are three things that, that must be done. I thank you for watching the video. Uh, I thank you for your time. Please uh, consider what I said because I believe it is, is the truth and will help or help to save our nation because sooner or later, maybe not, maybe not right now, but sooner or later, it will be too late. Thank you.